Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I got another vintage collection pack for you. This time we're rocking the Sega Dreamcast. Um, this is a fairly large pack. It's 143 gigabytes zipped, 145 gigabytes unzipped. It's a big one, um, but we're getting into some CD-based systems, uh, and they're just going to be large. There's no way to really do much about that. Um, one thing I want to mention about this pack is the games are in CHD format. Um, I just found that they were the best format to run, nice and easy to use. Um, and they work with multiple emulators as well. Uh, for the emulator for this pack, we're, we're going to be using Demule. Um, as all the research and everything that I could look up, Demule for, for Dreamcast is the way to go for Windows PC. So that's what Vintage Collection was made for. So that's what I'm going to stick with is running with the Mule for Sega Dreamcast games. So, I mean, let's get right into this. We'll get it all set up and then uh, we can go ahead and enjoy. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description. It's going to take you to download just a small text file. Uh, it's the Vintage Collection Sega Dreamcast Pack link.txt. What we're going to want to do from there is open up that text file, highlight everything inside, right click, copy, and paste that into your web browser. It's going to take you over to Arcade Punks, so I just want to give a shout out to uh, Arcade Punks for hosting my Vintage Collection and my Vintage Collection packs. Really appreciate that. Once you're on this page on their site, you're just going to scroll down until you find the Vintage Collection Sega Dreamcast pack and then go ahead and download that. I believe it'll be a torrent file. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and download it. It's going to take a while. It's fairly large. Uh, once you have it downloaded, you will not have this folder yet and you won't have these three text files. What you're going to have is 211 zip files. All those. Now the only one we want to focus on is at the very bottom. Vintage Collection Sega Dreamcast Pack dot zip. So make sure it's the dot zip at the end. You're going to right click on that particular file. Uh, WinRAR extract here. 7 zip extract here. So once you have it extracted, and I'm sure that's going to take a little while too, uh, but once it's extracted, you'll have the Vintage Collection folder and you'll have three text files. Add to Attract CFG file, Add to Global Emulators Any File dash Demule, and Add to Global Emulators Any File dash Null DC. So first thing we want to do is go into our Vintage Collection folder that we already have in our H drive, which I'm going to go into mine here. We're going to go into the attract folder and then we are going to open up our first text file that we've downloaded and extracted. So we'll open it up, highlight everything just like so, right click, copy, and we can close that text file. Now we're going to, in our vintage collection attract folder, we're going to open the attract.cfg file with notepad++. Uh, if you don't have Notepad++ installed yet, it's included in Vintage Collection in the Utilities folder. It's right there. And you can go ahead and install that. So we're going to open up our attract.cfg file. We'll right click, edit with Notepad++. And then I put mine in order. Um, so I'm going to scroll down to Sega CD. I want to go after Sega CD and before Sony PlayStation. So Sega CD, you can see at the bottom, rule favorite equals one. Make sure your cursor is blinking right beside it like so. Press enter. Enter again. And your cursor may be here. And if it is, just use your arrow keys on your keyboard. Press left, left. Make sure you're at the edge just like so. And then go with your mouse as close as you can. Right click, paste and it should look just like that. Make sure you hit the save button right here and we are done with that file. So next let's go up a folder in our vintage collection. We'll go into the rocket launcher folder. We'll go into the settings folder and we'll scroll all the way down and we'll open up our second text file that we've extracted. The 
add to global emulators any file dash demu. So we'll open that up, highlight everything just like so, right click, copy, and we'll, we'll close that file. And we're going to use the global emulators.ini file. We're going to right click, edit with Notepad. And we're going to go to search, find, and you're just going to type in D E M U L, demule, and then seven zero. And then we're going to click find next. There we go. And then we'll close out the, the search function. So highlight everything that's under the demule seven zero. So you've got MU path all the way down to pause load state keys. Once everything's highlighted just like this, right click, paste. Next thing, we're going to go back to our last text file that we've extracted. Add to global emulators any file dash null DC. We're going to open that up. We're going to highlight everything just like so. Right click, copy, and then we'll close out that text file. Go back into Notepad++, search, find, and we'll type in N-U-L-L-D-C, null DC. Find next. And we'll close it and we'll do the same thing we just did with Demule. We'll highlight from MU path all the way to pause load state keys. Make sure it's highlighted like this. Right click, paste. Make sure we hit that save button. Boom. We're done. So everything runs through Demule, but for advanced users, if you prefer null DC, it's there for you. I don't see any reason not to use Demule. But for anyone who wants to use NullDC, it's there for you. I'm not going to get into it. I, I just, Demule is better in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. So now that we've done that, let's take our vintage collection folder that we've extracted. Right click, cut, and we're going to go to the root of our H drive. So make sure you can see vintage collection. Right click and paste it into the root of your H drive. I've already done it. It takes a little bit on my computer, so I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch it all copy over. Um, if it asks you to overwrite anything, yes, go ahead and replace the files. Yes, you can overwrite. It's perfectly fine. It's not going to mess with any other emulator. It's just going to get Sega Dreamcast up and running for you. So next thing we're going to want to do, if we go into our vintage collection, so we can close this out now. We're done with our download. You could delete it if you want, delete the pack. Um, not yet, I wouldn't recommend. Make sure you're up and running perfectly first. But we'll close that out, and we'll go into vintage collection. We're going to go into systems, and you can see now we have Demule, and we also have Null DC. You don't have Daphne yet. Yet. <laughs> But uh, I'm not going to be focusing on Null DC today. Demule is the one we want to focus on. So we're going to open that folder and launch Demule. So from here, we go to config. And I just want to show you on video, it, it's running at 4 by 3. You can do a 16 by 9 aspect ratio if you want. Um, I always leave the resolution at 640, 480. These are all things you can tinker with, but you may have issues, so I'm just leaving mine exactly how this is set up. One thing we do want to config is our controls. So we'll go to controls, Dreamcast, Joy 1. And I am using an Xbox 360 controller, and it's pre-configured to the Xbox 360 controller. But if you want, you can change your settings in here um, for to line up with your Dreamcast controller. So basically, your analog stick, your D-pad, your left, tr left trigger, right trigger, and then A, B, X, Y. So, and then also your start button. And that's all you would need to do. And then you would just hit OK. Now, I've already got mine, so I'm not going to do anything that's going to change it. Once you have your controllers configured, we're just going to go to File, Exit. Now we'll go up two folders and launch Vintage Collection. Now 
And as you can see, if you're not at Dreamcast yet, I already am because I've been messing with it, but if you're not there, it's under Sega CD and before Sony PlayStation. So we'll go into Dreamcast. And there's 258 games. Now, not there. there's not actually 258, um, because some games, as you can see, like Shenmue and Shenmue uh, 2, they have three discs each, and there's some other multi-disc games in here as well. Um, I wanted to include these games because they're coming out in HD very soon, uh, so I wanted to have them included in this pack as well, uh, as well as as many games as possible. So everything has, as usual with Vintage Collection, you've got your wheel art, your box art, your disc art, and your snap. Each and every one. And there's a lot of good games. So Sonic Adventure is obviously a good game. Sonic Adventure 2. I'm not familiar with Sonic Shuffle, but there's Soul Calibur. So I already shot this video and tried to load a game while recording with my laptop. It just takes far, far too long to load. And you guys would have to sit here looking at the loading screen for like five minutes. So what I did was stop recording and tested a few games, just random games, uh, and and they all launched perfectly. And as usual with Vintage Collection, if your controller is still set up to exit with Start and Select, uh, that'll bring you back to this menu, um, or the Escape key on your keyboard. But you can see all the artworks there, a uh, ton of games to enjoy, and. As I mentioned, everything's running through Demule. Um, the big plus side to Demule is it runs also other packs that I, I could potentially do in the future. So when we get into Sega Naomi, Sega Naomi 2, I believe this is a Thomas Wave. Uh, Sammy a Thomas Wave also runs through Demule. I mean, the list goes on. And it just seems for Windows PC, it just seems to be the best um, emulator available. In, and that's in many people's opinions and also from me doing uh, as much testing as I've done it just seems to work flawlessly for me um, the video plugin that it uses is um, DirectX 11 so I want to let you guys know that and if you go in and you decide you want to change resolution or make it a 16 by 9 aspect ratio or whatnot I recommend just keeping track of your settings um, because if you change something and then you're having issues and it's not launching for you just you can remember where you were to begin with uh, and then just go back to that to the stock settings that I've played I've, I've put in place but again I I wanted to get Dreamcast out there for everybody uh, I tested this on two different uh, two of my PCs my good one and the one I'm recording with right now and it seems to run great with both um, I haven't had any issues with any of the games I've tested I have not been able to test every single game I mean I, I just that would take far far too long um, but I did put everything in CHD format and made sure that all of the artwork was there we've done all the configuration that we need to do and now Dreamcast is up and running through Demule so I hope you guys enjoyed this pack um, it was a lot of work and it's it's definitely the largest pack to date um, with with larger ones coming I'm sure <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to get this out for you guys so that you can enjoy the Sega Dreamcast vintage collection pack so as usual I really appreciate you guys watching please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're not a patron already and you and you want to support what I do and uh, what I bring to the table for the retro gaming community you know, please check the link in the description. You can become a patron, um, you know, for as little as a dollar a month and any support helps. Um, and I, I just, it's very much appreciated. If not, hey man, enjoy the pack and I totally understand. So as usual, you all know it. Have a good day.